Last time on Sailing Joy, I have shared with you guys the seven mistakes that new boat owners can avoid. I'm gonna leave a card up here if you'd like to watch it and also a link on the description below. I'm Ed Farinelli and in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys the three top projects that we're working on right now to make sure we're ready to take delivery of our new boat in Les Sables in France in 90 days. And it feels like it was yesterday when we requested to delay the delivery of our boat in one year. It's almost time for the boat to be ready. We have received an X factory date. What is that? It's when the boat is ready inside of the Lagoon uh, factory and is ready for transportation for SAS. So SAS can work on the boat and get it ready for delivery. So we're talking about 30 days after the X factory. July 1st is possibly the day that we're going to be taking delivery of our new boat. Although the boundaries have not yet been reopened between France and the United States, we're very confident that by then uh, the boundaries are reopened and we can fly freely to France. So what are the three things that we're working right now to make sure that we are ready uh, for the delivery process? So here, there are three things that go hand in hand, boat registration, flag selection, and an insurance of your boat. So let's start it with boat registration and flag because they, they really go in the same bucket. Boat registration. We have reevaluated all of the registers ports that we can choose around the world. Uh, and we decided to go with BVI once again. The reason for that is because of the red sign uh, flag that you get whenever you register your boat and you fly a flag from BVI. The red sign, for some of you that don't know what it is, is a group of countries that are under this flag that are very welcome around the world. So with that, and with our objective in mind to sail around the world, we feel like that having a red sign flag is something that is very positive for us. Insurance. We have decided to uh, start insurance hunt very early because of the fact that several of my friends that are sailing around the world are receiving notice from their insurance company saying that they're not going to be renewed. And because they are very far from where the boat has been registered and uh, what type of flag they fly. Uh, for you to have an idea, I have a very good friend of mine that is in uh, uh, French Polynesia. He has received a call from his insurance saying that his boat that has an American flag cannot be renewed with their insurance company. So they're going to be looking at other options because they cannot go without insurance. We feel like that having a BVI flag uh, make things easier. We had never had issues in the past with the BVI flag. I have contacted my insurance company and they are very much open to extend insurance uh, to us. So I think we're good on that one. I just wanted to make sure that we ticked the item off the list. Safety gear and aftermarket equipment. I believe we're living in a very different world nowadays. Last time, whenever we bought our Lagoon 42, all of the safety gear and aftermarket equipment, I pretty much bought over there at Les Sables de Olone. And I bought it in two or three days and I was able to fit everything into our Lagoon 42 and set sail. Uh, what I have noticed is there's a very limited and there's sometimes shortage of products available. So ordering all of your safety gear, your aftermarket equipment before getting into Les Sables, I think that's something that is going to save us a lot of headaches. We have put a very extensive list of uh, safety gear equipment and uh, aftermarket equipment on a spreadsheet. And we made that available to all of our patrons. So if you'd like to have a look at that uh, spreadsheet, uh, don't hesitate to consult our Patreon link that I'm going to leave here on the description of this video. It has helped us immensely to make sure that we buy everything before we get to Les Sables. We get everything ordered and once we are there, 
uh, we have all of the spare kits that we need for our engine, generator, and so on. We have the solar panels uh, order, uh, the support for the solar panel, the new sales that we're gonna have. We're planning to have a, a Code Zero and also a balloon sale on this new boat. So we have to request that to be manufactured before we arrive there. And of course, everything else that we need on the boat, like uh, everything for the kitchen, bed, uh, bath need to be bought. It's just like uh, furnishing a, uh, a new home. Whenever you buy a boat, you have to do everything from zero. And we have put in our minds that we're probably going to spend 10% of the amount that we have spent buying the boat with those equipments. Now, very differently from how we did with our Lagoon 42, this time around, we're planning to sell everything. So it's a little bit more complex because we're not gonna be coming back to our home. So we're putting our home to sell and we have a lot of belongings. So we're selling everything to go as light as we can into this trip. We plan to live aboard uh, for at least the first six months before the winter time arrives in Europe and uh, we freeze our butts off. By then, we're going to decide if we're going to cross the Atlantic towards the Caribbean and, and stay on the boat uh, during that season in the Caribbean or simply uh, store the boat, uh, rent an R Airbnb, stay in Europe for a little bit longer and explore there and do another season in Europe. So time will tell exactly how we're going to be doing. But one thing that we're very, very excited about is that this journey is about to begin. We only have 90 more days to go. So time flies whenever we're planning all of these things. So those are the three things that we're currently doing right now to make sure that we get to Les Sables with all of the things checked out and we really enjoy uh, taking delivery of this new vessel. So I hope you guys have enjoyed getting an update on how we're doing in terms of the delivery process of our boat. The three things that we're working on right now to make sure that we get to the subs with those things checked out. If you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, now is the time. Go over there and smash that subscribe button while you're there. Check out uh, the other videos that we have done in the past. I think they're very informative and uh, we're doing this because we feel uh, we can help other people that are going exactly in the same route that we have chosen. So until then, I'm Ed Farinelli and thanks for being with us. Mm -hmm.